finally tonight, America's highest musical honour for two of Britain's most successful musicians. So Elton John and his songwriting partner, Bernie Taupin, have been given the Library of Congress Gershwin Prize. Helping them celebrate the award in Washington, D.C., were a string of stars, including Annie Lennox and the band Metallica. Our U.S. correspondent Dan Rivers was there too. And you can tell everybody this is your song. It is one of Elton's most beloved hits. Now that is done. Last night, he sung it to the man who penned those words, Bernie Taupin, as the pair were given America's highest musical honour, the Gershwin Award. How wonderful life is. Everything that I've written emanates from this country, uh, whether it's the heartland, whether it's the urban jungle, it's all been a palette for everything I've written. Thank you so much for giving us so much music to love and adore, and it's more to come. Thank you for this incredible honor. Sir Elton, who turns 77 next week, told me their partnership changed both their lives. Yeah, happy birthday for Monday. Thank you. Where do you think you both be without each other? Nowhere. <laughs> We wouldn't be here, I know that. <laughs> the longevity of our career has because the songs vary and the songs last because they cover different territories. Among the more unlikely acts paying tribute to their back catalogue were heavy metal legends Metallica. They, they rule. Yes, they're amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, they, uh, it's amazing how they met, uh, and they're still rocking today. I love it. I have seen the spectre. He has been here too. And eurythmic singer Annie Lennox. Can you try and summarize the magic that they have as a, as a combination and a partnership? <laughs> That's impossible to sum up because, really, for me and for my generation, you know. We were growing up with their music. It, it's just, it's a very unusual thing to have someone be so, so, so successful and keep being creative. And that partnership is still so strong. All these decades later. Looking like a true survivor. One of Elton's classics was given new meaning by 80-year-old Joni Mitchell. I'm still standing home. And you're my and country artist Garth Brooks brought a twang of Americana to a song about one of the country's most painful legacies, the Vietnam War. Your eyes have died. You see both now that it's done. A star-studded event for two Brits who conquered America and the world with words and music in perfect harmony. How wonderful life is. Sam Rivers, ITV News, Washington.